reading from the first letter of Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, do you not know that you are the temple of God and that the Spirit of God dwells in you? If anyone destroys God's temple, God will destroy that person. For the temple of God, which you are, is holy. Let no one deceive himself. If anyone among you considers himself wise in this age, let him become a fool so as to become wise. For the wisdom of this world is foolishness in the eyes of God. For it is written, God catches the wise in their own ruses. And again, the Lord knows the thoughts of the wise, that they are vain. So let no one boast about human beings, for everything belongs to you. Paul, or Apollos, or Cephas, or the world, or life, or death, or the present, or the future, all belong to you, and you to Christ, and Christ to God. The Word of the Lord. Our second reading is taken from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. We have been reflecting on pure love as holiness. This is stressed in the first reading from the book of Leviticus. God's people should be holy because God is holy. But the holiness that God expects of God's holy people is love, the absence of hatred. Even if you reprove or correct your neighbor, there should be no vengeance, no anger, no hatred, only love. You correct because you love the person and you do not harbor or bear grudges. In all of this, love prevails. But as we said earlier, the neighbor here is a member of the people of God, quite limited. But the message is clear. The holiness of God is found in the purity of God's love. And the people of God who should be holy must show that holiness in love, pure love. In the second reading, St. Paul now talks to the church, not just to Israel, but to the church, especially the church in Corinth. And St. Paul reminds us, we are the temple of the Holy Spirit. And this Spirit is the Spirit of God, the Spirit of love, the Spirit of divine life. And because the Holy Spirit dwells in us as a temple, the church, the living community, is holy. Not because of any merit on our part, not because of any superiority in terms of morality. No, we are all sinners. But the holiness of the church resides in the fact that the Holy Spirit dwells in us. My dear brothers and sisters, this is a good reminder. If we call the church holy, it is not because we have made it holy. It is the Holy Spirit given by God that makes us as a community holy in spite of the sinfulness of the members. The holiness of the community, I repeat, remains because of the Holy Spirit. Without the Holy Spirit dwelling in us, then the community will definitely be unholy. Now, but this has a calling to us. If we are the dwelling of the Holy Spirit, the temple of the Holy Spirit, and if the holiness of God in the Spirit is love, in the purity of love, St. Paul gives us an advice. Do not live by worldly wisdom, but acquire the wisdom of the Holy Spirit, which is different 
from the wisdom of the world, especially when it comes to love. Worldly love is just emotion that comes and go, emotions that are, that are fleeting. Uh, worldly love is often motivated by my need rather than the good of the other person. Love, according to the world, promotes my interest rather than the interest of the loved one. And so we should, in love that is holy, learn to be foolish in the eyes of the world. But yes, what the world considers foolish is wise, is wisdom for God, especially the holiness that is pure love. The world will laugh at you, but that is true wisdom, true holiness, true love.